Good evening humans, Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Hand Ninja. This is part of the Stiltman Build-A-Figure Wave, and it's a great army builder that uh, there's a lot of good stuff. Uh, there's some stuff that falls a little short, uh, especially compared to other lines that are similar, but uh, let's save that for the rest of the view. So, let's do this! Okay, so let's start out things off with talking about the aesthetics of the Hand Ninja. Um, very basic, as it should be. It's uh, the, the Hand Ninjas as characters are just red ninjas, and this definitely accomplishes that. Uh, you get kind of a nice loose key, there's a lot of cool um, folds and stuff. It looks very natural, which is kind of nice. Uh, not a lot of paint, and it doesn't really need it. Uh, so it's mainly just red, black, plastic. Uh, and then you got those maroon plastic down here for the boots. And, you know, some stuff in the face. So bring that up a little bit. You can see you got the green eyes, you got some uh, eyebrows, and mask, and that's about it. Um, further talking about the silhouette. You got this hood here, which does not come off. That is glued down. Uh, I'm sure with enough heat and uh, tenacity, you could get that taken off. Um, I'm not sure what's under there. I haven't seen anyone do it yet, but I'm sure someone has, so you can probably find that. Um, oh, uh, in terms of some extra paint, you do have the nice like silver buckle here, and a couple of the, the Ninja Stars are also painted in silver, so that's pretty sweet. Um, and I would say that's about it for aesthetics. Moving on to accessories for the Hand Ninja. Um, he doesn't come with a lot, which is like not bad. It's serviceable. Uh, I would have liked to have seen more. I know a few other people would too as well. Um, it's just it's a ninja. You know, you kind of want lots of weapons and hand options. A uh, good thing is that if you got the Shang Chi. Um, figure that came out last year or 2019. I'm actually not sure exactly when that one came out, but that had a whole plethora of hands and those all work with our hand ninja as well. So uh, going over what he does come with, um, starting off with hands, uh, he comes with these nice open kind of martial arts like claw hands and then you get a pair of grippy hands to hold the weapons he has or other weapons you want to put with him because that's one of the great things about figures. You can just mix and match stuff, especially when it's in the same scale. Uh, after those hands, to hold in those hands, we have two commas, which are really well done. Nice sculpt, some silver paint on black plastic. Uh, again, they look good. Uh, I would have preferred two swords as opposed to two commas, but um, I haven't read a lot of comics with the hand in it, so maybe they use commas more. Uh, let me know in the comments if you happen to know. And then we have, finally, uh, the Hand Ninja Sword, which I believe is a... Uh, I'm actually not even going to try to say it now because I'm going to screw it up. So, uh, <laughs> but it is a standard Ninja Sword, so it's the straight straight blade with the uh, very sharp point at the end. I, this isn't sharp, it's very well rounded, it's pretty rounded off. Um, but same thing, black plastic with silver paint. Looks nice, very well done. Uh, nice and clean. And uh, if you want to count it as an accessory, he does have his little belt strap here that has the scabbard on it uh, to put the sword into, uh, and that can come off. Uh, I haven't removed mine, but it should be easy enough to do so. And finally, uh, I, there's not really an accessory because build a figure pieces are kind of their own thing, but he does come with the legs and stand for Stiltman. Uh, I'm leaving mine in here because these are going up on my eBay store uh, and I'll put the link to that up in the description. And that's accessories. Moving on to articulation. Uh, this is a point where I think it could be done a little bit better, uh, though they do give you a lot and that's definitely commendable. Um, so it's absolutely a respectable amount of articulation. So without further ado, going from top to bottom. Uh, head is on a uh, ball joint with a hinge. Uh, you can get decent amount down. There we go. Uh, not much up at all, partially because of the hood and partially just the hinge just doesn't get back there, so you're not going to get a lot there. Um, moving down the shoulders, you do have butterfly joints, uh, though they don't go very far, kind of like the G.I. Joe classified stuff. 
Um, so here, I mean, it gives you that little bit extra, so it's definitely good. Uh, I don't, do I think it was necessary? Not really, uh, especially with, I guess they, they probably did it because of how bulky the gi is, but uh, in any event, you have it. Uh, your arms can come all the way around. They can come out about that far, so you can get your T-pose. Uh, you get your bicep swivel. You got your double jointed elbows. Woo! Try not to punch him in the face. <laughs> get about that high. Uh, you get your swivel and your hinge on the wrists. You got a ball joint in the middle, saying so come all the way around. Uh, and there is an ab crunch under the belt, which let's see if I can get that to show up so you can kind of see it there. So you can come there. You can get bend over a little bit again. The bagginess of the gi kind of prevents you get, from getting anything too crazy. Moving down to legs, uh, you got the slit here. So you can get okay splits. Uh, your thigh, thigh swivel, uh, double jointed knee. Again, sculpt kind of keeps it from fully folding. Boot cut. And toes, you get really good point. Some decent up. And of course, pivot. And that's articulation. So how does the Hand Ninja size up to its own line and some other lines? Let's check it out. Uh, first, starting off with some Marvel Legends. And Hand Ninja is actually a little tall for a standard Marvel Legends. He's kind of about a half a head over um, Daredevil here. So you get that. Uh, sticking with Hasbro, let's look at some Lightning Collection. And moving on to a line with all the ninjas, let's look at classified series. All the ninjas. And let's move out into something else. Make sure I grab the right ninja. And uh, let's look at some import stuff or an import thing. Uh, so we'll look at SH Figure Arts, Common Rider. And let's look at another Red Ninja. Let's look at Ermac from Storm Collectibles. All right. And, oh, another Red Ninja. Um, the Power Rangers Legacy, um, Hurricane Red. There you go. Uh, and okay, finally, the one that everyone wants to see is him next to the Articulated Icons Red Ninja. And because we're coming towards the end, I'm going to throw in myself as an Articulated Icons Ninja. And that's how the Hand Ninja sizes up. So, final thoughts on uh, Marvel Legends Hand Ninja. Is it worth getting? Absolutely. Uh, it's a great army builder, uh, especially if you want a basic ninja. Um, again, accessories are a little lacking. The articulation takes a little bit, um, but especially if you're army building this for photos where there's just a whole pile of them doing stuff, you can cover that up pretty easily. Uh, in terms of how it stacks up against other ninjas and either similar price points by default or similar price points. Um, when sales come around, I'm actually going to do another video uh, that's going to come up really soon with the next couple of weeks, hopefully on the sooner side of that, uh, kind of putting the three ninjas in question together, though those three ninjas being the Hand Ninja, the Articulated Icons Red Ninja, and the uh, Classified. Um, let me know if you want to see that stacked up against, I mean, it doesn't feel fair to put it against uh, Ermac. <laughs> so, uh, in any event, totally worth getting, especially if you're getting the uh, Stiltman Build-A-Figure. Um, and if you don't want this, but you're, or, or hell, if you're building your Stiltman and you want to bring it up to the sky, I am selling mine on my eBay store, so I'll link to that. And, uh, yeah. That's about all I have to say about the Hand Ninja. So thank you once again for watching. I uh, hope this was informative and somewhat entertaining. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care of yourself. Peace.